if a lot of you wanted to use BigQuery, but never really did, got to it because you're like, yeah, I'll do it someday. And I said, this is the perfect opportunity to start using BigQuery. It's a store and power Looker Studio. I'll admit it. I'm not the, I'm not an expert in BigQuery, but I'm going to go through with the steps and I'm going to create a chart in Looker Studio with BigQuery data and just show you how easy it is. So first of all, you got to find BigQuery. <laughs> and this is harder than you think sometimes. So I'm at cloud.google.com slash BigQuery. Now I have signed up for this thing. I'm going to show you how I connected it with GA4 a little bit, just to show you that the connection exists. But if I go to my console, <clears throat> this is what I see. It's basically all the SQL databases that I have for GA4. So within here, I have GA4 DDU demo or DDU GA4 demo. Um, external connections doesn't really do much, but then I have this thing here, the analytics, and then it gives me an events table. And this is basically, as you can see, it's a daily events table for the, the, the days. So every day, and this, this thing ran, uh, this thing is for 90 days, um, essentially. So it's a daily events table that dumps all the different events for that day. Now let's talk about the word events. And again, I'm, I might sound ignorant on this one because I'm, I'm trying to sim I'm trying to summarize it in my own words, not necessarily in, I'm, I'm not reading the official point of view, but this is basically a way of showing us, well, the event, the GA4 is an event-based data model, right? So everything is an event, whether they view a page, this, the, the calling of a session, all these things are events. And so if, and for those of you who took my, my GA4 course, you know, that, um, basically without doing anything in GA4, you automatically have a certain number of events and they all make you know, a certain amount of sense, right? So up until yesterday, I did use a free BigQuery sandbox. So you could do this and you can do it with the free one. Um, I, I, I had some concerns that I wasn't going to be able to pull off the demo. That's why I paid for it because I didn't want to like just be live and then like not, and then have it say you reached a limit or something or whatever. So these events here, page view, session start, user engagement, all that stuff. These you'll find match pretty well to the table we have in BigQuery. Now, BigQuery is scary because it's it's open-ended and you have to know what you want. Otherwise, it's just like, you're not even looking at data. You're looking at a, at a definition of data. Now you can click on the preview. And this is so unaggregated and so raw that it probably doesn't really make a lot of sense to people as to what's going on. You see all the different things that are in here? Like, there's just a lot. So you could spend 20 minutes exploring this data and just be on one person's session. That's how crazy unaggregated data is. So this might even help you appreciate, well, it will definitely help you appreciate and understand better the model of data in GA4 and what's in there, and also appreciate how much aggregation happens um, and just how vast it is, like how many rows and records there are. Like I, I have so many, just my preview alone is just a ton of rows, right? And then if you get into a query and stuff like that, we're talking, it, it's big data just for my site, your site, everybody's site is big data, right? So so this is how you you know that you got data coming in. So on the preview tab, the schema is just telling you what fields you have and so on. Now, if I go to query, I'm just going to do a new tab in query. I'm just going to do select star from the, the table. And this is going to be a thousand rows, okay? If I hit run, oops, I think I can't have that second line. Oh, I deleted that out too. Okay, my bad. Uh, so I'm just going to hit run on there. This is basically just the preview that we had. Now, if you, just so you know, in a previous life, previous career, I got a computer information systems degree and I was a database administrator writing SQL every day for about five years. So um, I, I, I'm I'm going to make this look easier than it is. Don't, you know, but also part of what I want to teach in future brain gains is how to make this as easy as I think it is cuz SQL is intimidating but it's not it shouldn't be that hard, okay? So, um so that's that's that part, okay? So this is first of all, I'm just showing you BigQuery in the sense of what it what it provides and what it does, okay? Now the next thing is 
how do we replace our dashboards with BigQuery? Now you probably think this is really hard, right? Like you're probably like, okay, well, yeah, BigQuery, getting that set up takes like a year. What about setting up Data Studio, Looker Studio? Well, I said in a demo um, from this guy who works at Supermetrics and he showed me how he was in BigQuery. And then he goes, you know, you just hit export. Then you say explore with Looker Studio and then you have a table, right? I was like, no. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that I just basically can just export my data right there. Now, the first, what ends up happening is that it, 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 it's, this is the events table. And then because Google doesn't want to make anything easy on us, it just, it pulls in the wrong data. So if you look at the setup on here, it's pulling an event date and name as dimensions and it has timestamp. If I were to go, um, let's see, I, I cleaned this up already, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it from scratch. We want like record count will be the metric. So you have the event date, um, but let's go event name and then record count. So you can see page view. Okay. We're looking at the 78650. 78650. Whoa. Whoa. That's the exact number that's on my chart right here. 76910. Oops. Let me go over here. 76910. There's no accuracy problems. And look at how fast this loaded. This is just like super duper fast. So if I if I go to record count here again, I'm just going to start with record count. This is a chart showing page title and then this is the dimension. So um you'll have to this is the, this is going to be the biggest translation thing is like event parameters key. Okay, well what does that mean? You're going to have to start to we're going to have to start to figure that out, but it's basically all the event parameters right here. That's in the key I'm going to misspeak here, so please tell me if I'm wrong. But I, I believe the key means it's just the the under the snake case value. Okay, so it's it's that's why snake case is so important. If you're ever wondering why we need snake case, it's because the key here. I'm gonna I'm gonna just make this dip, go to fewer numbers on here. Um, I just want to look at like three bars so I can actually read it. The snake case. The reason why it's so important and why it breaks is because if you don't do that, the key would then have spaces in it and stuff like that. And I think that's the issue. So again, I could be wrong in this, but that's why you need snake case because the key is a is actually the primary key in the parameters value. That's why we need to have that for all of our events because of that. So it's the data structure. This report will never break. This report is super accurate. This report is golden within a reason, right? Um, now, I'm going to attempt to do something more advanced. I wanted to get to this point and just show you that you can do BigQuery, pop it in there and go. Now, if we all get, if we all get, if you egg me on, I will go further <laughs> and I will start to try to create another report, but I, I'm going to fail a few times. Okay. I'm going to fail <laughs> quite a bit. So I need you all to, to be with me on this one because I, I know that I'm going to fail. But should we do it anyway? Should we not be afraid of failure? All right. Okay. So first of all, before I get there, I want to make sure that I mean this I obviously you're gonna have, you're gonna have to watch the big video the video to get this stuff happening here, right? Um, but the export button into Looker Studio is it's like really that that's that easy. It's been this that easy the whole time. Like I think that's really cool, right? So and then um the other thing that I haven't really investigated is like, what is this data source? So if I go into here, I think that the data source just gets set up for us automatically, but you might want to, you know, so it's saying from my GA4 demo, um, it's pulling in from there. You might want to name this something different, better. Um, I noticed when I was playing around that this, this, that this has the legacy fields and I might want to do events. So I'm actually just going to choose events. And what ends up happening here is that it gives it actually better or it gives it it changes the fields entirely it no longer has like the the legacy one is like super unuser friendly this is much more user friendly isn't it so um i'm just going to try this thing and see what happens now there's still a crap load of of stuff in here right but i think this will be easier for matching it to our reports because it's going to be named after our stuff so um i'm not sure what the re, what the so that there's parameter value, event value. I don't know if there's a, even a count. Yeah, event count. Okay, so it's event count instead of record count. Data matches up now. 
Okay. So again, and the other thing I haven't investigated at all is like, well, I guess this is just like any other data source. This is now pulled in. It's authenticated against my email address. You guys wouldn't see this, right? Um, it's pulled in. So I might give this a better name. Okay, let's call this our big query demo. Um, and then when I change this one, obviously it broke as well. So we're going to go to event count. And what I think we're going to find is that if we go back over to here, see event count is actually the interface name. So that's why you want to have the second API, the newer one, because it's more, more, uh, more complete is what we'll say.